Okay, what am I doing here? Hello, you crazy people out there. This is Dragonite Spam, and welcome to... I don't know what to call this, honestly. So some of you are probably familiar with RPG Maker. It looks kind of like this. It's um, it's another kind of, like, game-making tool that some people use. Uh, it's usually used to make, like, Chrono Trigger, Super NES-era style Final Fantasy V video games. Uh, there's also a tool for making, like, Pokemon fan games known as Pokemon Essentials that I'm not going to get into right now. Um... Anyway, uh, long story short, I kind of went and started copying that in Game Maker because I was bored, and uh, this is about two days' work. I don't really plan on continuing this, I just kind of wanted to see how easy it would be to do, and it turns out it wasn't that bad. Um, if you, uh, to go over here, there's not a whole ton of code in it, there's actually a lot more code than there has to be. Don't listen to what I just said, because uh, I believe in overcomplicating things, but... Like, if you walk around, the NPCs have randomized movement, or they have the option to not have randomized movement if you don't want them to. Uh, there is this menu, there is stats, which totally didn't get stolen from Skyrim. Uh, there's this inventory, which... There's actually, like, four races in here, because I talked to her, like, five times, but... Um, yeah, I guess... Let me know what you think about this kind of thing. I guess the main draw is that it has the RPG Maker graphics, or at least most of them. It doesn't have the, like, fancy text box frames or anything. Um, and it's already done a lot of the annoying movement code and stuff, so you don't have to do it using tile layers and stuff like that. Oh, and also, if you don't like using Ruby, which I definitely don't like using Ruby in RPG Maker, um, this thing here just uses stroke Gmail for everything, and you don't have to deal with the 5 million tabs that this thing gives you uh, to deal with everything in the game's database and whatever. But that's enough of this. Uh, if you want to mess around with this, I'll have a link to download the compressed file in the description of this video. So I guess rate, comment, and subscribe, watch some of the stuff I've uploaded, and I will see you all later. This is easily the weirdest video I've made in a long time.